I'm, I'm not dead yet. All right, you know me, you know what I do. So let's get this ball rolling. This is part one of what I think it was in Arm Girls Mock Chisholm. It, however you say it, you know what I mean. Either way, let's get a little wee wine before he actually gets there. At age four, Dino Squirkless. And yeah, again, he's devastated. None of his friends wants to hang out with him. Bakugo, arrogant assholes, like always. But this is when he goes, Do you really want to be a hero, Izuku? More than anything. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to become a hero? Yeah. Alright. Let's, let's take a little trip. In which, yes, Izuku and go head off into the countryside. Where as soon as we come across this temple... Uh, Mom, where are we? This is where I was taught. My sword technique. What? Yeah. I, I know how you swords. So those those are uh, things that in your room. Those weren't umbrellas holstered. Nope, those are swords. Oh, as she knocks on the table gates, this old man. Oh, what is it? Eco. Hey, that Eco. As he tackles the go into a hug. It was surprising Izuku's like Inko, I miss you so much, I knew you'd come back. I knew you realized that Zashi boy was no good. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Uh <clears throat> Well, Dad, this is Izuku. My don't say it. He, don't say it. He's my son. No! No, damn it, no! I am leaving you with. Oh, why you gotta do this to me? You had to kill that Zashi asshole. Yes. Now, where is he? Where is he so I can kill him myself? Well, he's overseas working. I like this story. How you know he ain't cheating on you? If he knows what's good for him, he wouldn't be doing that. Fair point. Very fair point. Wait. So this is my grandson. He's a girl being uh, kind of scared. Like, uh. So. Hi, Grandpa. He look at he goes like he he called me he called me gra that's right he called your grandpa and he tackles Izuku for a hug he's like, oh my goodness you know what you are welcome here Azashi is banned for life but you two are welcome here C come in come in come in please please I'll get some tea started and everything and yeah this is when they start talking getting him caught up on. Certain events. Oh, so the kid's corpus, huh? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really matter. So, why'd you bring him here? I want him to train under you. You want him to learn my sword technique? Yes. Uh, Inko. You know what kind of training you went uh, under, right? Uh-huh. And you want your son to undergo the same training? Yes. Really? No, of course not. Oh. I want him to go under worse training. What? <laughs> it, it, it go... Uh, you almost died. 
with the regular training regiment. Why would you want your son to go through worse? Well, because he wants to be a hero, remember? You taught me that sort of need to really defend myself. Isuku's going to defend himself as well as others. Uh, uh. <sighs> Seriously, I... I can't. I, I really don't want to do this to my grandboy who I just met. Izuku wondering what kind of hell did his mother go through? <sighs> and yes, this is when Inko lifts up her shirt because she can tell Izuku's curious and he sees that her body is railed with scars. At least her back as well as her stomach. Him being hella fearful, wondering if she wants me to go through worse? <laughs> this is... Uh, oh, oh dear god. You go, you're crazy! Well, I learned from the best. <clears throat> Fair point. So, when, is he, when, when do you want him to start training with me? Today. What? How old is he? Four. Uh, but Inko! What is it? You, when you start training, you were ten. Ten years old. And you want your son to start so early. His body isn't finishing developing at all it's, exactly he's young he will heal faster he will learn the techniques quicker it, it's that obvious but your son well let's ask him how about Izuku are you willing to do whatever it takes to become a hero him just like yes he, he doesn't hesitate Oh my god, I don't want to kill my grandson, but Inko wants it to go down and he doesn't object to it. It's I'm a little worried about him. It's, it's crazy. Inko? Yes. Before we begin his training, I want to let you know the possible consequences. Of doing this when he's so young. <sighs> I know the consequences. You gave me the same ones when I asked to be trained by you the first time. <clears throat> yeah, but. Izuku's. What kind of consequences? Well, son. You see. If your body doesn't adapt to the way it should, the sword technique won't work. The sword style at least wouldn't. You may not be able to use a sword or something else. I, what do you mean? It could destroy your body. Unless you have the will to continue. And like he said before, my training almost killed me. Luckily, you're a boy and you are more genetically built or sturdier. Ah. So, what do you say? He's a girl, he turns his head, looks at his grandpa. I'll do it. And that is how Izuku's training begins. And as per Inko's request, it is a lot more, more difficult, hellish training than she went through when she was 10. 10 years old and this is starting with Izuku's 4. 
But for some reason, his unyielding determination allows him to rise above everyone's expectations. But then one day, he gets critically injured. Her, her, uh... Dad, he goes, Dad is pretty much warning, oh my god, I've killed my grandson, I ruined his life. He goes, gonna kill me, but she finds out, is it, finds out what? Seeing Izuku in a bloody, beaten mess, it's what? <sighs> he goes, just walks out of the room. Oh. Well, that, that turned out she sees the silhouette of Inko. Her eyes are going red as she is holding one of his favorite swords. Inko, sweetie? What are you doing with Daddy's sword? I'm going to put my late father to rest. What? As she starts slashing for all his vital signs him being nearly able to dodge but this is when the hears huh? Izuku? Mom I'm alright <laughs> is dad where's mom? She, she's working how long will it take her to get here? I, I, I can give her a call at the very least. Is, is, yeah, they dial her up. Alright, alright. She says she could be here in two hours. I, Izuku, can you stay alive until then? I... I... As... His eyes are starting to slowly close. Inko is losing her shit. They, oh, damn, this is all my fault. I should wait until he was ten. And which Izuku here? Yeah, he's six right now. And Inko and her dad are losing their shit. Two hours go by. Izuku, he's clinging to life. It's the here bursting of several doors so I'm running at high speeds just and boom you see yes yes I am doing this it's recovery girl what did you do it wasn't my fault Ego just brought him here out of the blue and everything it's like, is hey mom is yes she pimp styling go for brain not for only for keeping izuku away from them for so long but also putting him through this hellish training then she drop kicks izuku's granddad saying you're an idiot for agreeing to this wait a minute her looking at izuku his eyes opened his this is worse than Inko's injuries. What have you done? Uh, we, we, just, just heal him, please. Okay. Alright. Recurred girl kisses Izuku. Him, a little embarrassed, but he is healed. He's able to move again, but he's just tired as he falls asleep. As they give Recovery Girl the full rundown of how this has been going on. You must be wondering, wait, when he's six years old now, when he had already met his grandma, Recovery Girl? Why, yes. But you must remember, Recovery Girl is a hella famous doctor who works at UA, as well as highly recommended when it comes to healing. So yeah, she would be hella busy, unless it was an emergency that she had to come home. In which, yes, they really need her. Considering that she beat the crap out of them. After learning 
when they put Izuku through since she was gone. <laughs> and which as soon as Izuku wakes up, now it's his turn to get an ass whooping for allowing them to do this. And she uh, she takes a, her leave of work for a while. At least until Izuku's training is complete. As time goes on, Izuku, he knows he's strong. He's getting stronger, he's getting better, faster, all that good shit. But, something is wrong here. Though he does know how to use swords and is very proficient at using them, he wants to try something different. So he actually practices something else whenever he's not training with his grandpa. And no one knows what it is until Recovery Girl actually catches him in the dojo late at night. And she notices there are holes amongst holes in the practice dummies. The punching bags have been blown to smithereens. She looking around wondering what the hell is going on. She, she actually sees Izuku practicing his secret technique. As she drops the tea that she was drinking and Izuku jolts like, what the? Uh, Grandma? What, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. As, yeah. Uh, um, I'm practicing? What? I'm, I mean, I don't see no sword in your hand. And those wounds, or these attacks and movements you were using? Uh, don't tell Grandpa. Don't tell Mom. What? That you turned their sword art into a bare-handed uh, uh, martial art? Yeah. I guess this counts as the uh, the zero sword style for you, huh? Actually, that's a good name, but I actually want to show you. You already showed me. I already saw what you did to that, that poor defenseless test dummy. <sighs> well, if anything, I was planning on showing them once it was complete. So this explains why you're so tired before you actually start your regular training. You're practicing this. Yeah. Suku, you're going to end up killing yourself. I, I mean, I've seen heroes put their bodies through the ringer, but this is ridiculous. There's only so much I can do with such little stamina that you may have. You can serve it so I can heal you more efficiently. Otherwise, you'll get hurt to a point where I can't heal you. As Izuku it just looks down at his body, seeing all the scars that he's accumulated. Alright, fine. Good. So are you going to tell them? Not yet. I will later, I promise. You better. Her just picking up her teacup and walking off. Just hey, clean up this mess. Just pouring out her spilled tea. And yeah, that's pretty much how that whole conversation went down. He's a goose. Wow, she is scary. Just remembering all the times she nearly busted his head open with her walking cane thing. She seriously, that... I would hate to get shot from that man. It's... Oh, I hate shots to begin with. 
Ugh. But, yeah, Izuku, he decides to continue on with his little solo training. Just nowhere near as much as he has been before. He said, yes, I might as well listen to Grandma. She knows best. She's my doctor. In which, Izuku is now 10. Now. <laughs> and, yeah, he's pretty built. And go, as well as her dad, is pretty much like, <sighs> I am so proud of you. You've come so far in such a short amount of time. Now, I think it's time for us to lighten up on your training. What? Yes. From now on, you're going to be doing the kind of training your mother did. What? Yep. I'm finally going to allow you to relax a little bit. Oh. But why? Well, from your recent abilities shown through your solar techniques, I gotta say, I am very impressed at your progress. So, why not lighten up on you a bit? Besides, you're 10. This is around the time your mother started her training. Hmm. Are you sure? What do you mean? I mean, uh, if I want to continue the harshness of your training. What? Yeah. <laughs> Izuku, you're not serious. You still won't continue the hellish training you've been through? Not not lighting up even a little bit? Recovery girl's looking... Uh, are you sure about this boy? Yes. Go. she looks at Izuku with happiness in her eyes. <sighs> yeah, that's my boy. I should have known he would, that would be his answer. But... She is worried. Even seeing more and more fatigued lately. And where she asks recovery girls like Mom was something seems up with Izuku. I can't put my finger on it, but he seems more tired. But that can't just be from your constant healing, is it? <sighs> No, no, it's not due to my healing, trust me. I believe it's something else, but I'll let him tell you what it is. <coughs> so my baby boy has a secret? I must discover what it is. No. But, but mom! Don't but mom me. Just do as I said. And Inko decides it. You no, know yeah, she'll drop it. Doesn't matter. She, she, she'll trust her son and her mother's judgment just to... When Izuku wants to tell her what he's been doing, he'll tell her in his own time. Now it's how time to get to when Izuku is... Yeah... He's 12. And. Alright. Mom? Grandpa? I got something that I need to share with you. Come to the dojo with me. Um. Inko, do you know what this is about? Nope, but I'm excited to see what's going on. Is Recovery Girl's like. Yes, it will be surprising. Wait, you know? Like, yes, yes I do. As soon as they arrive at the dojo, we see Zuku in his gi and... Alright, so what are you trying to show us, kid? Alright. And yes, this is when he puts his sword down. Probably Inko 
and her dad's like, what's he trying to do? If he's going to show us a sword technique he's perfected, what he usually need as he sees Izuku do a karate chop straight through several, I do mean several, punching bags, practice dummies, and after the finishing touch, he blows a hole through a concrete wall. But it's only two inches thick, so still impressive. Just like, uh, Suki, what the hell is that? No sword style. This is why I've been so tired lately. Or at least there's so often. <laughs> so you were working on martial art around uh yes. Is there looking at recovery girls? You knew about this. Yeah, I did. But to be honest, in my defense, I came across this by accident. Izuku, why did you tell us? I decided to wait. Until uh, it was worth showing. Was it? Boy. You turned my, my sword style, my techniques into swordless combat that, that you can... You don't even need a sword! Anymore. So, sword or no sword, you're never defenseless! I know. <laughs> My grandson's a genius! Yes, yes, they both <laughs> just tackle easy to uh, recovery girls, like, you know, all sorts of proud. <sighs> Those idiots. She's just looking off into the sky. If only he was here as well. Huh. Maybe. As she's like, wait a minute. She. This is when she drop kicks the two of them. Why'd you just call Toshinori? Who? Is it who's who's Toshinori? Uh, All Might. Mom? You know All Might? Yes, yes I do. Grandpa? Yeah, I know that kid. Grandma! You know I know him. Ser seriously. That brat's been a thorn in my side for years. And this is the first time I'm hearing about it? Well, we didn't think it really mattered, but... Uh, as yes. She hits them on the back of the head, saying, Why did you just do that sooner? You could have Josh Nori give the boy his quirk. I wasn't supposed to say that. Wait. All oh Mike could have given me his quirk? Well, technically, yes. But. <gasps> um. It's complicated. Huh. That, that's impossible! No, it's very possible. Believe me, I've seen it before. When he received it. You see, Zuku, All Might was quirkless as well. Until his predecessor, Nana Shimura, gifted him with one for all. No way. Way? 
But things happened and she is no longer with us. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry to to hear that. It's all right. It's not your fault. But yeah. That's pretty much it. As yes, he's Oh my god, I can't believe uh, all my giveaways quirk. I, just, I think that was impossible. That so. Wait. What what happens if he does give me his quirk? Chances are you'll have the same abilities he does. Really? Yeah, most likely. I mean, it since he didn't have a quirk, it pretty much uh, became a enhancer or strength enhancer at least. That's pretty much what one for all is. Huh? Interesting. And which, yeah. So yeah, with that Izuku knows about one for all ahead of time in which he has met All Might All Might with some more okay this kid would be a good candidate for one for all but let me wait a little bit longer I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision oh yeah I I'm going to enjoy doing this you haven't <sighs> I want this to be as original as I can possibly make it. I think I say that a lot, don't I? Anywho, let's have a time skip when Izuku is in high school. And yeah, things are pretty interesting. People learn that he's quirkless, but is good with sword swordsmanship. He try to challenge him, seeing how Izuku, though he's good with swords, doesn't really like using them. He does carry a bamboo sword, but you barely see him use it. So, if anything, they think he's all talk. And when they do fight him, let's just say they end up either in the hospital or worse. Until the last high school he's been to, because he has had to get kicked out for pretty much winning the fights. You know that's possible. Please don't don't play. You know they would do that. And <laughs> let's just say he was gonna be friends with this one dude. He was called Hiroshima. But for some reason, as soon as Izuku started making more friends, let's say uh, a pretty boy, who, why Japan? Why you got me? Why you gotta have guys that look like that? It, it, it's messed up. Funny as hell, but messed up. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, it's, Izuku had no choice but to fight him. Not knowing hell why why are you so jealous? Why are you getting angrier that I can make I can make more friends that aren't you? You know that, right? Why are you being so possessive? And yeah. Ojiro's last words to Izuku or he passed out. You belong to me. <laughs> that this is where we open up to Izuku's whole new school. Him hearing that, yeah, Ojiro, well, Ichiro, damn. What's, what's with the Jiro's? There's Jiro, Ojiro, Ichiro. I think that's how you say Kirishima's first name. Either way, yeah. He, Izuku heard that Kirishima got booed from the school too. I'm wondering, 
Ugh, thank God I never see him again. He almost killed me. And what was with his was that his quirk? Nah, 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 that's impossible. And yeah, that is pretty much where we find ourselves here. Yuzuku going to the school for the delinquents to be corrected. Everyone has been warned of his. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> anyway, when he gets to his class, he sees no way that a lot of dudes are dressing in drag, which, or at least wearing makeup with their hair looking well very very well kept he also notices the girls are carrying these batons hella curious wondering what the hell is going on here as soon as he gets by that door he's like, yeah they're all pointing them at him like, <clears throat> okay it seems like uh, I did something wrong Mind telling me what it is? So we can possibly move past it? Yeah. <sighs> and this is when he gets the whole explanation of how the school was an all girls school until it became co ed and yada yada yada, the five swords and everything. When Oraco Chaco shows up. And Bear's horse sword right near Isuku's throat. So, uh, and you are Orago Chaco, the leader. Really? So you're the strongest? Well, no, I'm just the best at being a leader. Okay. Am mind moving your blade from my neck? Not until you just uh, submit. Excuse me. Yes, you must submit to our undying rule over this school. And <laughs> start wearing makeup and shit. What? So you want me to. Yes. All right, here's my answer. Fuck that noise! I'm out. As he just jumps out the window, Rocco, you bastard! Yeah, jumps right after him. As soon as he slams down there, he has to do a roll, but she floats down there, all graceful like. And like what the fuck? Wait, that's her quirk. It must, it must be. As he and Oraka get in. To a fight. Izuku pretty much just having to use his feet as well as. Yeah, he's gonna have to use his feet or dodge. That's, those are his only two options. Oraka being impressed at how fast he is, but also pissed considering that he's so good all, at all these, uh, these movements. Suku, okay, okay, I need to get to my gloves. I need I need them. Uh you see which which pocket would I put them in? Oh yeah! As he <laughs> jumps up high, does a black flip, and reaches to his back pockets. Or Rock is like, well, what are you doing as What is What is with those gloves? Uh let's just say the even the playing field. Seriously, you took my weapon as soon as I got here. But good thing these don't count as weapons. As yes, they continue the fight. Izuku being able to actually land some pretty good blows on Araka. But when she gets her good slices in, it hurts a lot more than it should. Him wondering what the hell's going on until he remembered. Wait. 
the difference in their descents when they jumped out the window. You have a gravity quirk! Whoa, you are very perceptive. That's right. My quirk is gravity control. I can control the gravity of myself as well as objects that I touch. So, when you, when you follow me, yep, I can control the gravity that I had and lessened it. And those sword swipes. Uh-huh. I make it so... <sighs> My sword is heavier. There must be there must be some way to Don't hold your breath. Seriously. You have no chance. There are no downsides using my quirk. If there were, you won't last long enough to find them. Damn it! We'll see about that as they continue. Garaka, she's getting faster. She's continuously changing the gravity, especially within that area. So Izuku, he starts to learn, to learn more and more about her style, as well as her quirk. Noticing that yes, it's starting to get a little bit more heavy. As Oraka, she starts to slowly increase the gravity to a point where Izuku will be, let's just say, kind of uh, less likely to dodge and forcing him to block, using up more and more of his stamina just to be able to move. Oraka is actually surprised that he's last this long. But this is when she decides to kick it up a notch and goes two times the regular gravity. Izuku really feeling it and Oraka pretty much stabbing him. It pretty much causing him to fall down hella pissed and hella hurt. Luckily, she's within his range, and he decides to use his spirit bullet, blasting her off, hitting a tree. He can't get to a sword, Izuku, he is victorious. But she does do something that is considered messed up as hell, but technically fair in a real fight. Just to get back at him, she kicks him in the balls. Him falling down in pain, but he falls on Oraka, kissing her by accident. And yeah, this is when she pushes him off, and let's just say that she lied about not having a setback. She throws up. He's a cool feeling like. Why do I feel like I just got rejected in one of the harshest ways possible? Rock is saying, damn it, no one's supposed to know about my weakness. She's thinking this in his, her head, just like, oh, damn it, damn it. can't believe it. Not only was that my first kiss, but she's looking at his face. And his face is horrified. Like, she thinks that, like, she thinks that he's thinking like, oh my god, that's gross. In reality, he's like, oh my god, she just flat out rejected me and I didn't even ask her out yet. And <laughs> since that would pretty much be the end of the first episode and this and this what if and uh, not to mention I went through a lot of content at once. Yeah, like I said, I want it to be Super original. I want to implement a lot of shit. <sighs> but yes, uh, you know what? Yo, no one guessed correctly about uh, what the race I was going to turn Izuku into for our future what if. So, 
I'm going to tell you what the race is. If you guys know what that race what it is, if you do, tell me who is a part of it. Alright? Yeah, Zarnian. The sea is silent. Zarnian. Do you know what that do you know what the <laughs> that race is? I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, but if you do, comment who is a part of that race. And with that, I am signing off. Damn, this video took forever, man.